show you how to check CPU and RAM usages of your Linux machine. I have a test server running and I will show you how to check the system health using command line tools. The one that comes with all Linux distributions is uh, a top. Uh, I'm using Ubuntu for this demonstration. This package is available for other distributions as well. So let's have a look at top. When you run top, it will actually give you a quick summary of the system. It will actually show you the uptime. It will show you how many users are logged in. It will show you the load average. In this case, it's quite high, but that's okay for a test server. Um, it will also show you the number of um, processes or tasks that are actually running. Um, it will show you the processes that are actually in sleeping mode. Um, it will also show you uh, the CPU and RAM usage. Uh, it shows you the swap usage as well here, as you can see. It will also give you a list of all the commands, uh, which you can actually see here. Um, and that's pretty much about it. Uh, you can actually see the process ID and you can use this ID uh, later if you want to actually kill this particular process. Now let's have a look at uh, uh, HDOP, which is actually uh, a better utility. So let's exit. In order to use HDOP, you need to make sure that the utility is installed in your machine. I have uh, previously installed HDOP in my machine, so I don't actually have to do it, but I will simply uh, show you how to uh, get it from the repository. Uh, you may want to change this uh, command uh, to the relevant one based on the repository that you're actually using. So this will say that I've already installed it, so I don't actually have to do anything. So I'll run HDOP, voila. Now I have HDOP here, uh, so uh, just by looking at it, it will give me a quick summary of what's actually going on. I can see that my CPU usage is quite high, I can see my load average is high, my memory usage is also relatively high. This is okay for a test server, but if you have a server in a production environment, this should never be the case. Um, now the interesting part is that when you actually look at the list of programs here, uh, HDOP actually gives you the ability to select one of these programs right from the terminal and it also gives you a bunch of function commands that you can actually use um, along with HDOP. For example, if I want to kill this particular MySQL program, then I can simply um, press um, function key 9 to kill it. Um, I can also use function F6 to sort it. For example, if I want to sort it by, say, memory, then I can actually select percentage memory and there you go, I've actually sorted it. And this is currently in the descending order. If I want to do it in ascending order, I need to press um, capital letter I. Please be careful here because you have to press capital letter I, not small letter I. Then you can actually change the order. Um, now, uh, let me see if I can actually switch it back to the original uh, position which was, uh, I think I ordered it by CPU, uh, which is like what, what I want. So I will press F6, uh, percent CPU, there you go. And I want to order it in the descending order. So there we go. Yeah, that's right. I hope this demonstration helps some of you. I'll see you guys next time.